In this session let us see uh, another uh, simple program um, and try to study what is going on in there. Okay. So, here I have a slightly more complicated program than what we just saw. Um, this has uh, two, two printf statements, uh, one says welcome to and the second says uh, C programming. Okay. So, it is slightly more um, sophisticated than the code that we have seen. So, to recap the first line uh, hash include stdio dot h uh, tells the compiler to include the standard output library. Then we have the main function uh, the open and close brackets immediately after main show that uh, main is a function. Uh, execution always begins at the first line of the main statement. Then the body of the function the logic of the function is enclosed within two curly braces. The first curly brace signals the beginning of the function and the last curly brace says that the function is over here. This particular main function has two statements earlier we had just one statement. Um, the each statement as I said before is terminated with a semicolon. So, this is the first semicolon and this is the second semicolon. The first semicolon says that uh, the statement uh, printf welcome to ends at that point and then followed by the second statement and the second statement is also uh, terminated by a semicolon. Every statement in C is terminated with a semicolon. Curly braces enclose a set of statements and each statement um, in a sequence is executed in the exact uh, sequence that we wrote in the code. Now once we edit this in an editor save the file now compile and run the file. So let us call it sample.c or you may rename it any, any file you want and then once the compilation is successful uh, you can run it using dot forward slash a dot out and then it will print welcome to C programming which was essentially the same message as we seen before. Let us trace uh, what happens when we execute the program by tracing we mean step by step uh, looking at each statement and sees, see what happens when the program executes. Okay. We have what is known as a program counter which says here is the currently executing line of program. The program counter starts executing at the first statement of main. For uh, ease of reference I have given line numbers in the code. Um, now this is given just for clarity. Now let us just see what happens when we run the program line by line. Okay. So first uh, we execute the first line of the code. After we are done executing the line 4, so after we are done executing lines 3 and 4, the message welcome to will be printed on the terminal. This will be followed by the next line. So the next line says C programming. Okay. So after the next line executes, it will print C programming percentage. I have given this in two different colors to highlight that one was printed by the first line and the other was printed by the second line otherwise the colors have no say, no special meaning. The program terminates when the main finishes execution and this is what is typically known as returning from the function. Okay. We will see this terminology later in the course. Now when you code uh, in addition to the statements which are actually executed you may also give a few additional remarks. These are what are known as com program comments. For example, uh, the lines a simple C program first print and second print these are the comments in the code. Okay. So whatever is highlighted in red in the code is what are known as comments. Any text between forward slash star and then later followed by a star forward slash. So any text between successive slash star and star slash is a comment 
and it will be ignored by the compiler. So the, uh, as far as the compiler is concerned, a code with comments is the same as a code without comments. It does not co affect the logic of the code. So comments are not part of the program. However, it is highly recommended that any program you write, you should comment the code. Okay. This is so that other people can understand your code. Also, you yourself looking at the code four months later or five months later, uh, it, is, it may be difficult to understand what you wrote um, much before and comments help you understand the logic of the program. Okay. Now, it is a very good idea to comment your programs and for larger programs, it is a must to comment the programs. This is standard industry practice and even if you are participating in large programming projects like free software projects, um, comments are highly encouraged because it will understand other developers, other programmers to understand your code. Okay. So we will try to follow our own advice. Most of the programs that we will see in this code, we will comment it so that it is easy to follow the logic of the code. Now a few notes, just as main is a function, printf is also a function. Printf is a library function which means that uh, it is given by the C programming language and we wanted to tell the compiler to include this library function. The statement which said that is this hash include stdio.h. So hash include stdio.h is a line telling that I want the uh, standard input output library because that is the library from which I will get the function printf. Now what, what does printf do? Printf takes two arguments just like uh, arguments to mathematical functions. So it takes an input argument which in our first case was welcome to. So this was the printf, first printf statement in the uh, program that we just saw. Now this was enclosed in double quotes, right? So it was enclosed in an open uh, double quote and then ended with a closed double quote. A sequence of characters in double quotes is what is known as a string constant. Now we can call the functions that we define or we can call the functions that the libraries provide. Okay. This is how uh, once you define a function, you can call a function. Now we will see an additional concept. The, the printf statements that we have seen so far, we will print a message and it will print there and then the prompt the terminal prompt will come immediately after the print. Now typically what we want to do is we will print a message then say tell the prompt to appear on the next line. Okay. So for this we need what is known as the new line character. All letters, digits, comma, punctuation symbols these are all called characters in the C programming language. There are a total of 256 characters in C. 256 is 2 to the 8. So for example, the small letters A to Z, capital letters A to Z, 0 to 9, the at symbol, other punctuation symbols like dot, comma, exclamation mark and so on are all characters in C. Now in addition to this, there are certain things called special characters. So there is a special character called new line. Uh, in the C programming language, it is denoted as backslash n. Okay. So there are notice that there are two kinds of slashes, forward slash and backward slash on your keyboard and the new line character is denoted as backslash n. Okay. So even though it is a single character, it is denoted by two letters. When used in printf, uh, it causes the current output line to end and then printing will start from the new line. Okay. So it is something which says the current line has ended. Now whatever you have to print, print it on the next line. The new line character uh, backslash n is like any other letter and can be used multiple uh, times in any particular line. Okay. For example, if you have uh, something to print followed by backslash n, followed by C followed by something to print. Now this will be treated as uh, 
so many characters and then a new line followed by C. Okay. So let us see a particular example, if you have uh, uh, the old program that we just wrote, but we end each message with a backslash n. Okay. So we have printf welcome to backslash n, printf C programming backslash n. Okay. When we compile and execute, we will see something new. Okay. So when we run this as dot slash a dot out, it will print welcome to and then the next thing to print is, is a backslash n which is a new line. So printing will start from the next line and then it will print the next message which is C programming. So it will print that followed by a new line. So the prompt will appear on the line afterwards. Okay. So a new line character is something that is used to make your output messages a little more prettier. So let us just conclude by saying uh, one more thing about new lines. Uh, the new line character uh, backslash n is like any other character and you can use it multiple times even within a single message. For example, if I do uh, the same program, but uh, let us say, say I have welcome to backslash n backslash n c backslash n. Okay. So I have repeated occurrences of backslash n in the same message. What it will do is it will print the message welcome to, then it will print a new line and then it will print another line and then it will print c followed by a new line. Okay. So when you run the program you will have welcome to new line then a blank line then c and then another line. Okay. So new lines are just like any other characters. The difference is that because it is a special character, it is represented by two letters. So it is not represented by uh, a single letter, it is represented by backslash n. So they are together one character in C called the new line.